and hi guys and welcome back to another Dr. Phone video. In today's video, we'll discuss the potential of unlocking Apple Watch iCloud. So welcome to a new era in which activation lock is regarded as one of the most secure levels on any Apple device. While guaranteeing the security of all of your device's data, it provides a one-of-a-kind collection of security-enhanced environments that allow you to handle all of your data through a single identity procedure. This identifying system ties all Apple devices together. Such an example may be drawn from the Apple Watch, which connects its structure to your Apple devices that use a comparable Apple ID. In the event that you mistakenly lock your Apple Watch iCloud, how do you go about unlocking the phone? So watch this video to the end to find out. And before I go deep into the details of that, please hit that subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification so that you may get notified when I upload other cool videos like this one. So now that we're here, let us start by knowing a bit about iCloud activation lock on Apple Watch. Part 1 about iCloud activation lock on Apple Watch. So Apple introduced a distinct security system with a single identifying instrument for use. The activation lock is regarded as the heart of the entire system via which the linked components operate. The basic activation lock is required for all major Apple connections, including iCloud, iTunes, and other identification-oriented functions. And importantly, this system extends beyond smartphones and tablets to other Apple devices, such as the Apple Watch. Apple's Find My iPhone service, or Find My, is expanded upon with the activation lock. This safeguards the data and the linked programs and stops the devices from being cleaned and resold on the black market. It is nearly hard for any user to correctly modify the settings of an Apple device without first disconnecting it from the prior Apple ID. Activation lock ensures that all data on your device is normally safeguarded and kept safe from unauthorized access. Is that not interesting? I mean, I think it is. It does not really end there either. Apple Watch also uses the same Apple ID you've used on other devices, so its recovery and removal are fairly comparable to the traditional procedures used by people all around the world. Now that you know better of what an Apple ID means to an Apple Watch, let's see if unlocking it is possible. So part two, can you unlock an Apple Watch that is iCloud locked? Nobody wants to be trapped in a tight spot, but when you obtain an Apple Watch that is normally locked and requires the main identity to function, it is critical to grasp the dynamics of having an Apple Watch unlocked. When learning how to unlock an Apple iPhone, several scenarios are involved. If you purchase a used Apple Watch from another owner, there is a good probability that the devices are still linked to the previous Apple ID. Simply contacting the prior owner and acquiring their iCloud account and password for activation should suffice. There is no alternative way to bypass the iCloud credentials, but let's take for example if you own the Apple Watch and have the original receipt, the problem can be resolved by calling Apple support or visiting your local Apple store. However, there are ways to go about unlocking your Apple Watch as a watch's owner and the iCloud. Now for part three, how to unlock Apple Watch iCloud if you're the owner. So the Find My service offered by Apple is a highly special feature that provides additional protection against illegal or needless usage of the device if it is lost or stolen. Only the original account credentials can be used to bypass Apple Watch iCloud. To keep your device secure, consider using the Find My service and activation lock, which are only available in watchOS 2 or later and are immediately synchronized and activated when you link an iPhone with an activated security service. The activation lock is crucial in numerous situations where the owner is required to unlock several Apple Watch capabilities such as for example the Apple Watch had previously been connected to the Apple device. Connecting the watch to a new Apple device could also be another thing to consider. Now turning off the devices by my services is also there. So the existence of activation lock increases the likelihood of recovering the gadget rather than losing it. The only thing holding this pillar together is the activation lock and the related Apple ID and password, allowing you to bypass the Apple Watch iCloud easily. So with that, I feel that it is important to mention that if the user wishes to sell the Apple Watch or give it away for servicing, the activation lock must be turned off by following a series of actions. Some gaps you will be looking to fill are going to be, for example, step one, keep your Apple Watch and the connected device together and open the, the Apple Watch app on the linked device. On the next page, 
go ahead and tap on the my watch tab to access your name and then tap the info button to access a variety of choices. Choose unpair Apple Watch, then remove plan for cellular models of Apple Watch. Then provide your Apple ID password to validate the process and complete it successfully from there. Then we'll ask for part four, how to unlock Apple iPhone iCloud by removing Apple ID. So apart from focusing on these traditional approaches for removing Apple iPhone iCloud from a specific device, I will also provide ideas in this video that can successfully fulfill all of your requirements through unique protocols and mechanisms. So third-party dedicated unlocking tools are regarded as extremely efficient in delivering services for deleting an Apple device's Apple ID via specific technique. While recognizing the market saturation, this video offers you a highly competent tool called Dr phone screen unlock for iOS that attenuates an excellent structure with the ability to recover your iPhone from various conditions with relative simplicity. So Dr. Phone is going to be an excellent choice for unlocking Apple iCloud for several reasons, including that it is, for example, a very simple and easy to use platform with no technical requirements, as in you don't really need to be tech savvy yourself to understand how to use it. It unlocks all Apple devices whose passwords have been forgotten. It keeps the Apple device from becoming disabled as well, which is a pretty big deal. And it does not require any standard iTunes software to unlock either. It's also compatible with all iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch versions. It is compatible with the most recent iOS versions too, which is a pretty big deal and something to consider. Now, the following demonstration illustrates how Dr. Phone works and how it can help you easily unlock an Apple account. So here we go. And to begin, connect your device to your computer and then launch the appropriate platform on the desktop, and then proceed by selecting the screen unlock tool from the home window and then choose an appropriate option from there. So on the following page, you're going to choose unlock Apple ID from the list of available options. Then log into your Apple device. So when you open your Apple device, you'll see a screen asking you to trust the machine. And then once you finished trusting the computer, you may easily access the device's settings. And then from there, all that you have to do is just reboot the device. And with that, we actually come to an end of this video. So thank you so much for watching up until the very end of this video. If your Apple Watch needs to be unlocked, you should know by now that Dr. Phone is going to be your best option. So kindly tell me in the comment section if you know of any other procedures that we can use to carry out this task as well. And before you go, please remember to subscribe as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.